Hello everyone, in this video I am going to go over some of the basic things that you can do now to best prepare yourself for Nighthold, which is only a few weeks away. Most of these are fairly basic, and most of you are probably already doing this, but I felt like a video wouldn't be the worst idea, as we do actually have a lot of new players circling around at the moment. So this video is really here just to be a pointer to the right direction. But with that being said, let's move on to the first topic, Traits. A big part of tackling the Nighthold will be placed onto your artifact's progression. If you're looking to raid Nighthold within a guild, they will probably be looking into getting people with the most progression onto their artifact as possible, and of course their gear as well, but traits aren't as demanding, so trying to push them is also very important. Trait-wise, you will probably want to have all 35, and anything beyond that is a bonus. The key thing to think about here is how valuable you want to be within your raid group when it comes to progression. This, of course, can be situational and very much depends on what type of raiding environment you are in, but being on par and performing your very best is a big deal when it comes down to progress. Now with that being said, at the moment there is a bunch of different things that you can do to easily obtain artifact power. The main thing that I do daily is all of my world quests. However, if you aren't a fan of doing quests, you can also spam low level mythic plus keys for some easy artifact power. Some guilds form groups and boost people through their keys just for some easy artifact power, and if you have the people willing to do that then it's probably worth it, but honestly, just doing your daily stuff should be enough unless you're pretty far behind or are dedicated to getting as high as possible. For daily artifact power, you have some great sources. Your daily heroic dungeon, battlegrounds, and emissary caches are all great sources of artifact power, and alongside that you also have weekly increases from LFR and arenas. PvP in general also has a nice artifact power token called the Glory of the Melee, which is given to you for every three honor talents that you go up, starting from level 5. You should really pick content that you want to do here and not force yourself to do anything that you don't like. But moving on to the next important topic, Mythic plus gearing. Now, heroic and mythic raiding obviously have a lot of great opportunities for loot, but the best way to get loot, which is of more value, is by doing high mythic plus keystones. This doesn't mean that you have to all out farm them every single hour of every single day. Just doing one level 9 or higher key rewards you with some pretty decent gear, but you should try and push it as far as you can. However, also note that for high keys, you do not need to complete them on time to get the weekly chest, so even spending the time on a key that will be depleted at the end is definitely worth it as long as it's within reason. On screen now you should see a table of all the mythic levels and their corresponding loot for both at the end of the dungeon and the weekly chest. All credit to Wowhead for this amazing list, I've been referring to it for a few weeks now so I know exactly what I'm getting item level wise whenever I do mythic plus. If you want to see the Wowhead post where this table came from, there is a link down below in the description. Now, there are only three weeks left until Nighthold releases, so ideally you should do this alongside your raids just to acquire as much upgrades as possible before the gates open. Also remember while doing Mythic Plus, every single piece of gear that you get has a chance to Titanforge up to 895, so every single dungeon that you do matters. Now on to legendary items. Ah yes, these amazing orange pieces, which unfortunately, from everyone's experience, are not the easiest things to obtain, and the only thing that you can really do about it is a lot of content and get lucky. In fact, even after that, you still have to be lucky to get the one that you need, which is a massive pain. All the advice that I can really give here is just do everything that I said earlier, then just hope that one drops. Legendaries do help you within raids, but honestly I do not think in most situations that you would be denied a raid spot because you have been unlucky. But again, it falls under the do the best you can category, and of course depends on your guild. Along with legendaries, remember that with patch 7.1.5, which is apparently to be released soon, legendaries that may not be very good at the moment can change, so have a read up on them and see what kind of changes, if any, are being applied to that item. I will also put a link for all the legendary item changes in the video description, and I advise that you check them out, as some of them have had pretty nice buffs, while others have had some nerfs. Something to remember while waiting for legendaries to drop is to not really get too worried about it, as after a while it will begin to wear on you, and then when you eventually get one, it will be more of a sigh of relief rather than an actual exciting moment. Now for something that seems pretty obvious, completing your Nighthold pre-quests. You will want to get this out of the way as soon as possible, and if you haven't done the Suramar campaign yet, then you should definitely start working towards getting it finished. 
I personally was pretty busy with university, so I actually had no idea that the question even existed until someone mentioned it to me, and I just want to make sure that everyone is aware of it. Plus, the quest chain rewards a heck of a lot of artifact power, so it's probably the highest priority right now, especially since you won't be able to enter the raid unless you have done it. In fact, even the last quest in the quest chain is to go and kill Gul'dan, and it may continue after that, but there is a large amount of artifact power available for that quest as well. Now here is a little bonus tip that may be good or may be way off, but it could potentially save you some gold. Try and make sure that you get stocked up on food, flasks, potions, enchants and gems as they may actually increase in price as demand for them increases with a new raid being released. It's just something that I plan on doing now and I thought that it may also be useful to you guys. This week's Mount Monday winner was Slashbite, and a very big congratulations goes to them. I very much enjoyed doing the competition, and I hope you guys did as well. I cannot wait for the next week's Mount Monday. Let me know if you tried for the mount, and I'd love to gauge how many people are actually taking part. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. Are you looking forward to Night Hold, and are you prepared for it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Illidan jokes are of course welcome, and the best one that I see, I plan to pin to the top of the comments. Don't forget to also like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.